everybody! Amy Love here, and I am in full craft fair uh, mode. <laughs> you know, the plan was to start in January working on things for craft fair season, but as time does, it just got away from me. So I do have like a bunch of, of notebooks ready, and I do have some ornaments ready, which I'm very excited about, but I feel like I need to beef up my table. So I am going to make some um, large paper clips. Um, I'm going to turn them into uh, tags with a dangle on the side. So they'll be made to go on a paper um, sideways and have a dangle coming out of the journal or book. So I'm going to be using the Snippets of Love Kit uh, from Doreen. I absolutely love 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 this kit look at all the texture and layers in this digital it's just beautiful Doreen so I went ahead and cut out all the bits that I'm going to want to use and I went ahead and inked the edges of them and I've also cut some strips of fabric that is going to go um, like these maybe <laughs> Of course, when you want the thing to do the thing on the video, right? But it's simply gonna go over the edge like this. And so I'm going to um, use just a piece of a sheet that I've ripped up. I'm gonna use some of this fabulous uh, fabric from Angel Dream Crafts, which is still my favorite fabric ever. And I'm going to cover the uh, piece of the sheet with this. So this will be in the background of whatever snippets go on the front. And I'm probably going to go ahead and zigzag stitch around the edges of these because I really like that look. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of that sewing and then we'll put them together and finish decorating them. All right, so I got my little strips sewn together and I gave them a quick iron. And then I decided I wasn't going to sew around the edges of all the things, which I normally do, but I don't know. I feel like it doesn't need it. This is going to be a little project and it just doesn't need all that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here so that I know how much I have to work with before I start adding the things. So I went ahead and covered the whole piece so that even on the back it would be cute. But I'm of course not going to decorate the back. I'm only going to do the front side. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it right here so that the top's uh, together. And thank goodness I remembered to turn on my glue gun. Yay! <clears throat> that new habit that I've cultivated about turning it on as soon as I come upstairs has really been working out. Okay, so I still want it to be able to move on here, but I want it to be together. So that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and also glue the bottom together. I'll get a glue here. super cute. So I pulled out a bunch of Angel Dream Craft um, snippets. Like I love this lace and I do have this lace, but I had this uh, snippet left from I don't even know what I made. But I'm just going to add it right there. Um, I'm not going to put glue on it just yet because I think I will figure out which pieces I'm going to put on and then the glue from that can kind of just hold that down too is what I'm thinking. So I'm going to take this piece of the snippets of love. Love the snippets of love. Look at all of the, <laughs> the yummy layers on there. Doreen, it's such a pretty, pretty kit. And I'm going to put that right there. And I'm just going to use hot glue to put the things on. Um, hot glue works great on fabric. Uh, if you're not using a lot of it and if it's something you're not going to wash because 
if you use a lot of it, it does tend to make things stiff. But for this, it just isn't really going to matter. It doesn't really matter. All right. Now the trick to this is not to bulk this up too much. And then that is my struggle. <laughs> because, because I like to make things very um, dimensional. But that isn't going to work for this. Um, so I'm going to try to keep it flat. I'm going to use this beautiful lace from Angel Dream Crafts. And I'm going to put it behind. I'm going to put it behind this piece from her kit. Because I think I want to put that right there. It's just so cute. Or do I want to... Maybe I'll just do one of these labels from the kit. Let's see. Hmm. I think I cut that way too big. So I'm going to cut off some more of that. I'll have a snippet for later. Oh, that's so pretty. Pretty, pretty lace. I think I'm going to use this beautiful label. Um, see, that's so cute. All right. So I'm going to put glue on the back of this guy. And hopefully that will be enough glue to kind of seep through all the lace layers. It's adorable. Okay, let's see. Kind of would like something right here, but not something too chunky. I do have this, but I think that's a little too big for, well, I don't know. It's kind of cute. I cut this off of one of um, Angel Dream Crafts trims. It's kind of adorable. I also have bits from here. Might be cute. Let me cut that out and see. Let's see. I have had this um, applique from Kim's shop for quite a long time. And of course, below you will find a link to uh, Angel Dream Crafts and to Ulala Vintage Treasures. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, we're going to put that right there. I love it. Absolutely love it. Yes, yes total cuteness. Total cuteness. Look at how sweet that is. It's just so cute. I love it. <clears throat> now I don't want to overdo it, but I think I might just add another little leaf down here. I think that's so cute. Let me do it. See how quickly that came together and how sweet that is? It's so sweet. So what I'm going to do is put some more of these together and then I'm going to hang a dangle off of it and then I will show you what they look like when they're all finished. All right, so last night I just wasn't feeling this <laughs> anymore after I already had them all done. Um, I left two. Uh, this way because they're wide enough but the other ones were not as wide as this because you know I don't measure I just kind of went with the strips I had and so there was a lot of extra clip on the side so I was like eh, I don't like it so I ended up slipping these off and then putting them on um, a 
paper clip, which I like much better because there's not a bunch of extra clip hanging off the edge and they're just cute. And I'm not going to add anything else to these because I want to make sure that they're not bulky so that you can put them on a page and it's no problem. They're just really cute. I'm going to leave these two on. I think they're adorable. Um, and they're, but you see how much smaller, how much thinner this one is? I mean, there's like a whole half an inch wider. So it just looked silly on these big paper clips. But I did want to show you uh, some of the ones that I worked on because I have the beautiful images from uh, Doreen at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And then I used beautiful snippets. Like I love this with all the sequins on it uh, from Angel Kim from Kim at Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. And of course I will put a link below to both of their shops. See this came off of an Angel Dream Crafts trim. Isn't it cute? So cute. And then this one all the snippets are from Angel Dream Crafts and all of the digitals are from the Snippets of Love Kit which I just love. So what I ended up doing last night with the bigger clips, which I'm, <laughs> I'm loving, um, is I'm making these. How stinking cute are these? So I'm using the Heart Tool fabric from Angel Dream Crafts with this uh, gold polka dot tool and uh, some polka dot ribbon. And I think that these, are super cute and I think they're gonna do well at a craft fair I was thinking about putting three in a pack maybe I'm not sure so I'm gonna finish making some of these today but I do much prefer these on the smaller clip I mean that's still a large paper clip but it's not like a an extra jumbo <laughs> paper clip uh, so I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and make sure you follow all the links below. I'm also going to put a link to everyone that's on Doreen's um, design team and everyone that is on Kim's design team because they're all amazing and do such beautiful work and they all inspire me and I know they'll inspire you. So make sure you go and give them a sub. All right, I hope you're all having a great day. See you later. Bye.